Hello, family and friends of Seward United Methodist. This is Reverend Mary Kay, and it's time once again for midweek devotions. Though this week, I'm not sure it's really devotions, but it's something that's on my mind that I wanted to talk to you about. You may have seen in religious news or found reports about the possibility of a group breaking off from the United Methodist Church to form a new denomination. And this may have brought back memories of all kinds of discussion that were happening ahead of general conference that was supposed to happen in 2020. So I wanted to just share a little bit about my understanding of where I think the denomination is and what's likely to happen. This is my thoughts, my opinions. It's from listening to various um, folks and reading a lot and being involved at general conference and jurisdictional conferences for a number of years. So yes, there is a move to start at least two break off denominations from the United Methodist Church. I think of it kind of like a bell curve. So if the United Methodist Church is something like a bell curve, then we have some folks on one end that want to leave and start a new denomination which they are calling the Global Methodist Church. And then there are folks at the other end who identify themselves as Liberation Methodist. And they too want to leave the United Methodist Church and form another denomination. Now, both of these extremes have been active in the United Methodist Church for a number of years. This, this group that's forming the Global Methodist Church has been trying to remake the entire UMC to be very different than some of our core values. This has been a group that um, has focused more on rules than on grace, that has tried to undermine the United Methodist women by encouraging congregations to form an alternate women's group and not be involved with United Methodist women. It is a group that, for lack of another way to say it, tends to be in my perspective, more Baptist than Methodist. Not that there's anything wrong with being Baptist, but it's not Methodist. And then this group on the other extreme is a group that is maybe the leading edge or the cutting edge of a very progressive kind of church. Uh, and they certainly are pushing boundaries in ways that most of the United Methodist Church are not comfortable with, may never be comfortable with, but certainly aren't at this point. I suspect what will happen is that about 10 or 15 percent of United Methodist congregations will decide, yeah, we really do think we're more Baptist than Methodist and we're going to be part of this global Methodist church. And as a congregation, we're going to vote and leave. And I suspect there may be 5% or so of United Methodist churches that say, you know, this denomination is moving too slow for us and we want to be something that's more progressive and out there. So as a congregation, we're going to vote and leave. And that's going to leave the majority of the United Methodist Church still as a single denomination. 
And there is so much about this denomination that is wonderful and shapes us and forms who we are and does so much good in the world from the United Methodist Committee on Relief to the United Methodist Women to the General Board of Global Ministries. All of these things happen because we are connecting congregation to congregation for making a difference in the world. And I think there's going to be all kinds of reports in the news and people are going to get uptight. And when it all shakes out, we will have lost some congregations, but most of us will remain as a single denomination. The name may change, who knows? I don't know how that will all shake out, but I think the bulk of the denomination will remain. And as I have gotten to know Seward United Methodist Church, my sense of who we are as a congregation is somewhere here with the United Methodist. We so value the importance of grace. We value United Methodist women. We value being in mission with the wider world. We value doing volunteer and mission trips. We are United Methodist and we will stay a congregation. Whatever happens with, at the denominational level, we will remain a congregation together. I remember years ago, I was serving a church and was living in the parsonage and every time I would pull into the garage of the parsonage my my headlights would hit the former church signs so there was the church sign for when the congregation had been united brethren and the church sign for when the congregation had been evangelical united brethren and out front was the church sign that said united methodist and the thing was that whatever the denominational name was and however it changed over the years, the congregation was still the congregation and the people were still in community with one another and still in worship with one another and still in church with one another. So we are a congregation all together and it would take all of us deciding we wanted to leave the United Methodist Church. That's not my sense of who we are. If I'm mistaken, let me know. But my sense of who we are is that we are Seward United Methodist Church and we have been Methodist for generations and we will continue to be Methodist in the way that works for this congregation in this community that has been shaped by this denomination that makes such a difference in so many people's lives. I can't tell you what's going to happen at General Conference, which has now been postponed to 2022. I can tell you, I don't think the split in the denomination is going to be quite as dramatic as the news reports make out. I think there will be some congregations that leave, but I think most congregations appreciate being United Methodist and will stay right here with our heritage and our roots, making disciples who make a difference in Seward and beyond. If you have any questions, I'm happy to discuss it further. I, I can be a bit of a a church geek and a metho nerd and keep up with all this kinds of stuff and happy to point you to some other folks and the things they are writing about what's happening. So just let me know. Y'all take care. Hope to see you Sunday.